Roland. Hi, John here. It's uh, Monday, the 2nd of October 2017. Um, just want to catch up with Willie Peter again. Some, some more good news. Hello, Willie. I've just been talking to my lawyer secretary, so it looks like I'll be going in tomorrow. I'll, I'll cut a deal with him on the uh, Moai tidal turbine project. That's what that's what I'll do it, and uh, I'm just going to write to him now. And get the bill. Um, what? How much I owe him? I've uh, just been looking back through all the records. I'll email you some of the stuff I had with him, so you got an idea. And I'll just send to Bundy and him as well. The videos I had in his office with him, and the bank, and and those bits that will join up to this lot. So uh, yeah, so that looks looks like it's going the right way. I just need to do that, and she's all go. Those pound notes, the big trillion pound notes, are sitting in the bank, ready to to make legal. I just need to write on them and they're away. Okay, John. Yeah, yeah. So those big notes will hit them hard, uh, and and that's the only way to do it because you you add up all those years they've had the use of of our our titles here and using this for. Uh, a, a cash cow for them right through the will. So that's where it's it's not only here, it's the whole world where those notes are gone uh, to cover for the everything that they've uh, used out of our titles and that flag here. So I think you've got a fair idea how that works, eh? So we'll probably have a manifestation before the week's out. That's right. That's right. I could have this all wrapped up tomorrow. I could have this bank and the notes flipping out tomorrow. All I have to do is get a yes from the lawyer, and he 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 was begging with me to uh, to have the contract uh, because that's really huge, right through the will, uh, and it'll get our power going here straight away uh, on the East Cape and up north with the tidal turbines. They're huge, they're big big time fuel, um, and that'll do away with all the petrol and the oil and all the rest of it. It'll just clean that lot out, and that's already ready to go with. Pricewater Scoopers, the accountants, and also the uh, lawyers. Uh, it's all set up. I've I've did a lot of work on this um, to, to 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 get our economy going, uh, and, and that matches up against the power note. All the, all all of that resource is what they've been trying to do through the world, and I've got the answer for that here uh, with those big turbines um, ready to ready to build. So we don't have to borrow money anymore from anywhere. It just comes straight off the sea power. And all the rest of it is just uh, um, uh, uh, added to the value of that power note. That, that's what I've done. I've stacked up the tidal turbines energy value of the water into the power note and then the fraud on top of it. So that's our own uh, currency. That's not anybody else's. That's our own currency. So I... Uh, a little bit of Wanangas will, will you'll get it, but we'll we'll just do it in stages into that part of it because it's going to set our economy flying on a flying start uh, up there, and uh, and but we'll go through that uh, next round. The, tide, the the courts are out of the road now. We've we've finished that, as far as I'm concerned. I don't need to talk about courts anymore. We can just gloss over them, of, over how that works, but now it's the financials and, uh, and the means of putia to, uh, to cut through everything uh, without a problem. I don't see any problem. I just have to get into the, uh, I'm just setting up the, the letterhead to send officially. I, I go business-wise now between us and, and, and the lawyer uh, to cover us, to, to, to make sure no one steals our our project plans and our material that goes to Westminster 
uh, to keep it safe uh, on uh, on the Whakaminia. Okay, I'm doing all the legal to cover our 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 tracks to make sure make, make sure it stays intact. All right, happy about that? Oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. Any questions? Or just let me know. Just call me up. Okay. Okay, okay bye. Now, uh, this Willie, I'm just letting him know the next part of the stage. Those fellas are, are really super excited, but you know, don't want them to get a heart attack. I'll be the first one to get a heart attack before them. But um, um, in, in saying so, um, they, will, they will learn um, in time how everything's going to fit in place. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure. They, they understand, fully understand, the, the next part of the journey into the financials, the bank, and the economy, and the um, uh, energy field, and also the, uh, the setting up uh, land for development, and all those sort of things. We don't have to worry about the, how the government here is operating. It's just not good, not looking good. Uh, the justice system is not good, nothing's good. Maori's not good. It's all going to custard, and we've got to be prepared to go on our own. Okay, so that's all I want to say for now. Um, apart from that, I've said enough about the book, and willie has got one of these. He's got one of these, so he's reading it um, word for word, so he understands. He's asked me a question about tithe, tithe, T-I-T-H-E, tithe. Tithe is one-tenth of your income goes to the church. Well, uh, we don't work like that. We, 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 we don't, Moa doesn't have churches. Um, as such, although we are the, the St. Patrick's Church order and the St. Mary's Church order, that's my church, <coughs> <coughs> we're talking straight business here. We don't need to bring religion into the politics of Moai Crown. Moai doesn't have those sort of things. The spiritual side doesn't apply. That was missing in, in the in the um, um, the Crown Corporation's business. There was no spirit. Um, so uh, now we have um, we have um, certainty, not uncertainty. We have certainty about who we are and where we're going to. <coughs> so that's the next part of the the, the stage. Is the lawyer, uh, the, the the debtors. The criminals apprehending them, and the property seizure, the writ warrant, writ of of control and possession of the land on 77 Cook Street, uh, the Marais, Titi Marai, Waitangi Marai, and um, the land blocks at uh, Kaitaia, um, um, Selwyn Karaka or Hedewini Karaka, and Bundy Waitai there, and Te Hapu, those uh, lands over there, where the airport is, the both airports, uh, the Kaitai airport, that uh, grass strip, the military one, we need that one, uh, Bundy, and uh, I have my own control over here, I've got all the titles here for that, and also the, uh, we're not we're not worried about the Whanuapai airport at, at this moment, because it's got a lot of nuclear and, and dangerous stuff underneath it. They've hidden a lot of the, the stuff under there, uh, so um, and it's too noisy to fly in and out of. So we've got the uh, Kaitaia Aerodrome and also the um, Te Hapua Airfield under the trees. We just swap the trees out of the way and open it up uh, for that one. And then that Rangi took here um, on the Haho 7B block, uh, the um, um, Waka in the paddock there. We're going to. Um, use that for the British military operations on the Waipu River um, and set up there and the British Empire State Building in Auckland in Cornwall Park. So that, that, that's that going up. That's a five billion dollar project uh, and um, with that building alone and that's connected straight across to, um, to uh, Cook Street underneath the tunnel through and that's our city operations running under there, those under the motorway as well. So they'll, they'll be very careful with how they drill along there. Um, so uh, those are some of the bigger plans that I have with Mohi Manukau and his Freemasonry um, documentation in, 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 in instruments 
that I'll be using the Freemason instruments as being Scottish um, and the, and the Irish. We'll be using my Irish people and staff as the um, authority um, to collect the rent from uh, people on land. Um, in some ways, I, I won't be worrying about tithes because that's ten percent of your wage. No one's going to be operating that way because they're getting credit all the time. They look, they've got no bills. It's, it's what's in the phone is theirs. So we, we don't need tithes uh, to help from people's income to pay for the church. No. No. Moai doesn't do that. He, he won't do that. He's got money to give away in a mobile. They only need a mobile number. That's all you need. And a £25 to get in. Okay, £25. £25 is a billion, billion shares in each of 250 countries. So if you will signal when we're ready with the website and the tech page to get it going. So that's the next after the bank is open and, and the ANZ bank is fired up and the pound notes fired up. The pound notes are sitting in the ANZ bank in Auckland. As soon as we get one pound note sold to the bank, one trillion pound note sold to the bank, <coughs> I'll just check on, on what the interest rate of the bank is at the moment. Just give me a minute. I've just got to do this little exercise, all right? Bear with me. <coughs> <coughs> I'm finding the ANZ's interest rate. A N Z interest rate. Like lending. They have to buy their money from the IMF. Lending rate of oh, interest, mortgage interest. Standard interest rate there, 5.79 percent. So it's 5.79 percent. The 5.79 percent interest. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. The Moai pound note can be sold to the bank for 4 percent. 4 percent. They're selling retail at 5.79 percent. So they're buying it for something less, so I'll just, I'll just bargain with them for 4%, so that, that means they get a 1.79% interest rate, right, as profit. I'll find out what their buying rate of, of, of the US dollar, <coughs> and they, they borrow from the US dollar, which belongs to the Rothschilds, and then they, they, they borrow again from the US federal state dollars from the Bank of England, which is the pound note, which is our pound note, and whatever rate they buy up there, they're just doubling up again and making more, spending more money out of thin air. So now we've got 4%, 4%, what's, um, hang on, I, I'm going to do this on a calculator. I'm not very good at this sort of thing, calculator. I'm going to run out of noughts. One, one, two, three, four, Nine. Yes, that's a billion. Times, bear with me you people, I'm doing something serious here. One percent. Oh, ten percent. Oh, what? Four percent. Four percent. Four percent. Where's the percent? Where's the percent? Oh, yeah. There, four percent. It's one, two, three, four, five, Six. Forty million. Just like that. Forty million. Forty million. To the bank. So that's how much Moai makes from one bank. Forty million to lend one of these Moai pound notes over John Key's head. I've got a trillion pound riding over his head. That's just a hold on his head as security for this Dick bond. You got a bond in here. All the crooks have got a bond in here. Right up to the value of 970 million trillion trillion pound note, including the land and everything we're seizing back. All the gold missing. <coughs> All the gold missing. Everything stolen is going to add up to us lending the money out. But I will find out how much 
Britain is their interest rate on the pound note. Okay, this this that's, this is pounds. This is so it's it's more like eighty thousand New Zealand dollars. You see, you, you see, that's a year. <coughs> eighty eighty million. Eighty million. Pounds just from a trillion pound note. That's not thin air. That's just following the rules without spinning it. We don't spend money ten times over like the bank does, nine times over. They have to make money out of nothing. No, we're not crooked like that. We've got to show them up. So now we've got <coughs> Britain, where's Britain? Uh, interest rate for Bank of England. Bank of England. Bank of England, interest rate. Interest and exchange rates. Okay, for Britain, ah, that wasn't any good. Ah, okay, official bank rate, okay, official bank rate, 2016. Oh. 2016 rate was 2.5%. So we're, we're going on interest rates from New Zealand. Official bank rates. So daily spot rates. Australian dollar, are they there? Australian dollars, check, hungry, one pound. Oh, here's the better one. Swedish, Swedish, Australian dollar, Euro, New Zealand dollar, one, one, one pound, 28th of September 2017. 1.8633 dollars is one pound. The pound is devalued that much. Wow. So say twice. Twice. So that'll, that'll mean 40 million is 80 million we're making out of one trillion pound note. 80 million pounds out of, uh, out of the, the, this is just the interest rate on the New Zealand dollar, so we're getting an interest rate on the pound note, which in New Zealand dollars is 80,000 New Zealand dollars, uh, 80,000 New Zealand dollars. So that'll give you an idea, anyway, of just that amount of money that goes back to the shareholders. I'm saying the pound note makes money, the fraud makes money. The tidal turbines makes more than money than anything else. It makes more money than the gold. Believe me, the fuel and the aircraft, we're going to own the aircraft. The, pa the passenger aircraft run on hydrogen and oxygen. Look at oxygen from our fuel tanks. And so uh, now we have uh, those three sources of income going into the power note. Up goes the value of the power note and just blacks right across the whole lot of the currencies <coughs> that can't match. We don't go up and down. We, we're not on the open stock market. We are got our, our own shareholding, locked private, with this private flag of a king. Okay, that's the way it should have been. But the crooks have made it so difficult, so many laws, that my friend Daryl Payen has got that much stuck in these titles that I took one look at it and it just made me go sick looking at all the different uh, figures and everything. But all I want to know, Daryl, with your title, 
is how long have you, your family held a property, that's one, how long that determines uh, the um, title is that you're uh, caretaking or looking after the land and or its buildings and improvements that have come out of somebody's pocket. So I'm guessing that because of the length of time you've had that property, someone has forked out the money to pay for it and get a loan from a bank through this Admiralty system um, against the property or from borrowed money from somewhere else where they did the work. All I want to know, Daryl, is who did the work to put the house together to make a mortgage and, and, and of the transfer where it's in your family and how many years have you held it? That's going to matter very much to me. But if you haven't got those because you're telling me there's no titles, it, it's very difficult to prove uh, anything other than being in there the longest and being in occupation is 99% of the law is occupation. If you're occupying the land and the Crown wants you off because they say that no one owns land and they just can whip the title off just like that and defuse it and put a state of emergency, I'll come with this land and put a state of emergency right over it. But I'm not in that position. I'm not, I'm not in the position to, to use this authority when I haven't used it on myself yet uh, on this land. Um, uh, let alone come and do your one, but I would do it if I if I had more information about your title, having having all those documents is just too much, um, too much red tape around different things that add up to somebody's got the real title, someone put money in, and I'd like to know how much you fellows have contributed in. That's going to matter. If you didn't put much in it, then you don't expect much out, and you'll only be expected for caretakers' fees for the land in occupation because the land, the Crown can just pick it up and go with it and put somebody to manage it uh, in there. That's what they want to do. If they're going to get rid of you, that means they're not making money out of you. And uh, that's how, I'm, I'm afraid that's how the monarchy system works. Um, regardless of what laws or jurisdictions they are, uh, it still comes out of the fact that someone gave authority to put those titles there in the first place. That's why I can't be bothered with anybody but the native land owners, the, the original surnames of the black people, not the white people, the black people, that those are the real owners I'm after. I'm after those ones because they would have given it up, sold it or by force given it over to the white man. And then it's the white man that flipped the title around and from one to the other and that's where the problems are. I'm just hitting it in the head with one black native with a surname that's not English or European, and he's the owner. He, he is the real legal owner of that land, no one else. That's where it's going back to. The king will go back to the king and that legal owner that has uh, a, a new title produced because this flag is a state of emergency or, or declaration of war to seize all the American titles and reissue them. That's where it's going. That's where all this lot's going with the power note, because the power note is an uh, instrument of legal and legitimacy that it can produce uh, money out of the debt sowed and the resources of the land. The land and its resources don't belong to these white people in Wellington that are selling logs off them. They don't belong to them. They're just using X to do it. And they're not even the original landowners. We've got the le legitimate landowners that has a bone to pick with you now, Judith Collins, and all those people spraying the skies and poisoning the water and killing the rats and things with tin eddy when clearly the public don't want it. If you fellas say a no is a yes and the fee of foreshore and seabed, this is going to go whop right over you and the foreshore and seabed and your TPBA. This flag is going to scun you out. It's going to scun your laws out because your laws are only for you, not for the public who use them. Um, so that's all. Um, just getting tired now. I'm going to go to the gym. I just wanted to do a video of um, Willie and just join us back together again. So, great. See you next. Bye.